Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are looking at our first on the channel, Lenormand deck. This is the cute little Lenormand with a book and 36 Lenormand card deck by Sarah M. Lyons. So I'm really excited because this looks like it'll definitely help me learn what I need to learn about Lenormand's. So it's published by St. Martin's Essentials, retailing for $21.99 in the U.S., $29.99 in Canada. All right. So the back says, get to know the simple intuitive art of Lenormand with cute little Lenormand. This cute, <laughs> colorful modern take on a classic divination deck is designed to spark inspiration, offer clarity, and even hint at what the future might hold. Author and illustrator Sarah M. Lyons has given this historical card deck a contemporary makeover with updated illustrations and inclusive language that invites everyone to see themselves in the cards. Awesome. Written with the newbie in mind, Cute Little Lenormand includes a guidebook along with a 36-card Lenormand deck so you can start working with the cards right away. Cute Little Lenormand, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, expl uh, includes explanations for each of the cards and walks you through how to read them from your first vignette all the way up to 36-card grand tableau. Fun exercises will help you hone your reading skills and explore the rich meanings of the symbols. Whether you're uh, querying the cards about love or your next career move, using them as part of a magical practice or as a way to top a <laughs> tap into your own intuition. Cute little Lenormand is the perfect guide. Oh my goodness. So very cute already. It's in literal book form. And then in the back is the cards. So check out how adorable this is in the front. This is the lining of the book. It gives you all of the cards. Oh, so I'm excited about this because if you look through, there is a lot of information. And if this is going to be your first Lenormand deck, this might be a good one to buy. So um, it gives you some introductions, a little bit about Lenormand. Um, wow. So it's not like tarot. One of the most common misconceptions um, is that it's a type of tarot. I understand why they might seem interchangeable at first glance or why it might seem like you need to know one to understand the other, but they aren't and you don't. So awesome. Different reading methods. Okay. So then getting to know your cards, there's activities to do so. Wow. Awesome. Lots of like, here, you have to try this. Okay. Card meanings. And then here we go. Awesome. Okay. So then it's just, uh, oh, wow. And then in the back we have spreads too. So how to read and then reversals. I know this might be a little boring um, to flip through all of this, but it gives you an idea of what to expect. Wow. Okay. So, oh, and then you can do like notes in the back. Oh, how cute. Uh, awesome. I, I'm really, I'm really excited about that. So Let's get to why we came here, the cards. So again, it's a little bit of a split deck here. I'm not going to dock it because it's in the book. It makes sense. <laughs> okay, so this might wear out a little quickly because it's just a little um, card stock envelope. So be aware of that, but Let's give the flip through a go. They're pretty tiny. They're like a mini tarot deck. So they're they're pocket sized for sure. So there's the back. Cute. I like the ombre look. All right. Oh, so it does give you the corresponding um, like bicycle card, poker card. Oh, let's check out the cardstock real fast. It's not amazing. Um, it's a little on the thinner side, um, but it's not terrible. We'll see how it shuffles. And it doesn't look like it's very glossy. Maybe just a smidge, because there is a reflection, but it's not like a high gloss. Oh, 
so cute. They're numbered. There's a little bit of borders going on, but it doesn't take away from the cards. And it does live up to its name. It's very cute. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> I am not well versed in Lenormand at all. This is my first deck. So I'm excited that there's a lot of information it looks like in that book. So this will be a great one for me to sit down and work with and try to play around with it and see how I like it. I'm really excited. I was not expecting that. <laughs> this seems like a very beginner friendly deck with all of the activities in the guidebook. But we'll definitely shuffle these, see how they work uh, with that, and then we'll pull a card to read from the book, as always. That's pretty. <laughs> Ooh. That's fun. This reminds me of um, the Watchmen. Quick side note, if you don't know and your cat owner, lilies are um, dangerous and um, not good for your kiddos, for your kitty cats. Aww. All right, let's see how they shuffle. They are so tiny though, <laughs> I'm not used to it. You know, they work, they shuffle. Yep. Okay, one more time and then we'll try the rifle. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. It's actually a decent size to work with. It's not terribly tiny to where, you know, you feel like you're, you can't shuffle. All right. Can I get one to read please? Yeah, it works just fine. We're going to read for the tree. All right. So number five, the tree. Let's see. Did we, I said there was a table of contents. Yes. Okay. Didn't help that much because I still have to find the specific page, but that's okay. There's a lot going on in here. So the tree, seven of hearts is the card that it represents. The planet is the sun in Saturn. Zodiac is Capricorn in Virgo. Feeling is growth and pacing is steady. Key themes, longevity, growth, roots, physical health, wellness, and self-care. Overview. The tree is a card about growth in every sense of the word, physical, mental, emotional, and long-term. A tree that's not well-nourished can't bear delicious fruit, but a tree solidly planted in the right place, watered and cared for, and tended to, can put down strong roots and grow and thrive 
and bloom for generations. Traditionally, the tree card often represents health and the body, but it stands for mental and emotional wellness as much as it does physical. It reminds you to take care of yourself and strive for longevity. It's about being grounded, planting seeds for the long term, and establishing roots wherever that means for you. For me, it resonates as a card about personal long term growth honoring and exploring your personal legacy and nourishing yourself on every level, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Reading the tree. This is another neutral card, strongly affected by what's around it. It can point to things in your life that needs attention and maintenance, or it can be be an affirmation that you're growing and blooming. There's another cute visual interpretation trick you can use with cards surrounding the tree in the grand tableau. The cards below it can show where situation is growing from or the roots, while the cards above it can show what something might blossom into or the fruits. Timing is important with the tree. This card is a slow mover, but the movement is irreversible and meaningful. It's like a giant redwoods growing larger over hundreds of years. The tree is steady growth. You can't rush it, but you can nourish it. All right, then you have information as um, for the tree as a signifier, sister cards, positive combinations, negative combinations, and questions for the tree. Oh, awesome. Anything else? Nope, goes into the next one. So I am really excited about this. I'm excited to see how it is to work with this instead of something like um, tarot or an oracle card deck. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to learn for quite some time now, and, um, I thought this might be, uh, a fun one to start off with. So, uh, it seems like my, um, guess was correct. It seems like there's a lot of really good information about it in here and how to work with them. So that's exciting. I would love to know what you think. I know a lot of you do read with Lenormans and you guys have been wanting me to do this for quite some time. So let me know what you think about this particular one. And would you like me to, um, unbox and review flip through other Lenormand decks? Let me know down in the comment section, all your thoughts and opinions. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me, for spending time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys make my world go round. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. And with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay cool, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.